Hello everyone, and today I'm going to take you to the magical kingdom of Harry Potter. I'm going to show you around, around the film locations here in London that they used to shoot the Harry Potter movies. In King's Cross Station you will find this fake platform 9 and 3 quarters that they built for all the tourists here. Don't expect that it normally is that quiet. Normally there's a huge queue going all the way outside, but now during the coronavirus it's uh, very quiet. And there's a shop there as well that shows you all the tourist stuff that you can buy. But I will show you the real film locations that they used here at the station. Okay, it seems that COVID is not doing us any favor at all. The ticket gates are closed and we couldn't go to platform 4 and 5 where the actual platform 9 and 3 quarters is that they used in the movies. And also the area upstairs, the bridge, that looks completely different nowadays than how you would recognize it from the movies, is closed as well. And that's the place where Hagrid would give his ticket to Harry. But, as you know, there's another way to go to Hogwarts, so let's take a car instead. Platform 9 and 3 quarters. But Hagrid, there must be a mistake. So while they used the platforms on King's Cross stations, the exteriors were used of St. Pancras Hotel, just right next to King's Cross station, built in the 1800s. So when Ron and Harry weren't able to reach platform nine and three quarters, they flew off here with their car, flew over St. Pancras station all the way to Hogwarts. There we go. All we need to do is find the Hogwarts Express. Unfortunately, I can't show you this second shooting area what I used in the movies because I'm a stingy Dutch guy and I'm not paying a ticket for the London Zoo just to visit the reptile house, which they use in Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone or the Sorcerer's Stone for our American friends. And that's where they visited the reptile house and Harry evaporated the glass, talked to the snake and the snake disappeared from the aquarium. Thanks. Any time. Lambeth Bridge was featured in Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, where Harry was picked up by the night bus. And the night bus drove crazily here over Lambeth Bridge, and in the end, even had to squeeze through two double decker buses. <laughs> and I'm currently walking to Westminster Bridge, and I think this is a good place to talk about where Westminster Bridge was used in the Harry Potter movies because. I feel a little bit like a TV presenter on uh, political evening uh, news with uh, the parliament in the background. But Westminster Bridge was used in Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix where they flew on the broomsticks under the bridge and in the end over parliament. From Westminster Bridge it's time to walk to Westminster Station and that was used in Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix when Harry used some magic in front of muggles and had to face a tribunal but i think muggles are a little bit better in using the ticket gates comparing to arthur weasley and while we're passing all the ministries ministry of transport ministry of foreign affairs i even see there the place where our muggle prime minister is living it is the time to find the entrance of the Ministry of Magic. On this corner between Scotland Place and Scotland Yard is where they walked into the Ministry of Magic, into the visitors entrance where they put a telephone booth over there. Unfortunately, uh, there was also a bridge that they constructed over there. I hope you can still hear me with all those buses around me. But they went into the phone booth, dialed, I believe it was 6442, and then they went down into the Ministry of Magic. And then in uh, the Deathly Hallows part one, this was the corner where Ron was keeping attention on Mafalda Hopkirk. In the end, when they zapped her, they dragged her over to that gate over there. Well, over there. Let me uh, see it's behind the bus. So they dragged her over to the gate over there. In the movie, it was a nice wooden gate. But uh, now it's just for use for construction workers and stuff like that. When they drank their polyjuice poison, they would come out and approach to the corner of Hortz Guards Avenue, entered a public toilet that they put right here, and then they flushed themselves down into the Ministry of Magic. 
So after visiting the Westminster area, if by any chance you visit Trafalgar Square, then you have their Canada House. Nothing directly that you can see here from the movies, but the interior was used for Gringotts, the Wizards Bank. Unfortunately, the place is not open to the public, so we just have to admire this interior through the first movie. Well, you don't see this place back in the books. They say the Bridges Place kind of inspired J.K. Rowling for Diagon Alley, because this alley that walks diagonal on the main street. And then the pub is kind of the leaky cauldrons, because there's a front door, and then there's also a back door into the alley. The Bridges Place is uh, also uh, the second narrowest street here in London. So just opposite the Porcupine pub near Chinatown at Newport Street, you'll find alleyway number 12. And that's where in Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, the Death Eaters came all the way from Trafalgar Square onto Charing Cross Road here into Newport Street and they disappeared on the broomsticks into this alleyway. In the Deathly Hallows, Harry and Hermione and Ron were attacked by the Death Eaters on Fleur de la Cour's wedding. And when they evaporated, they landed here at Piccadilly Circus. Right, I think it's right here at the place in front of Gap at that junction. At that place, there was a railing in front of it and that's where they evaporated. And then this place where Hermione kept going on about, this is the first place she remembered where her parents always took her. That was walking under those pillars before they went into a cafe. And that place is now completely gone, unfortunately. It's not even gone for that long, I'm afraid, but the building has been demolished, so that's gone. But after they left the cafe, they went into a new set of pillars going into the Leicester Square area. That area is still there, so you can walk underneath here. And that's the area where Hermione said, well, Harry, I think we forgot your birthday this time. I think, yeah, of course, because you were just attacked by a bunch of uh, Death Eaters. You didn't celebrate your birthday, Harry. Okay, the Harry Potter and the Cursed Child play is not really related to the movies, but instead, head directly to the street behind the theater because that is where you will find House of Mina Lima. The graphic designers of all the props, like the news articles from Harry Potter. And you can go inside different floors, three floors, all with the different props from the films. And we have left the busy West End area and have arrived now at St. Paul's Cathedral. And they use this in the Prisoner of Azkaban. The clock tower was used during Hermione's divination class and she pushed down the crystal ball and it was rolling down that staircase. That's the staircase of St. Paul's Cathedral. And while we're walking to the Millennium Bridge from St. Paul's Cathedral, we're passing the City of London School, the school where Daniel Radcliffe was studying, or while studying. He got quite bullied by his uh, pupils over there, mainly because he was there probably only three till four months during uh, his study time there, probably because uh, he was filming most of the time. But we have now arrived at the Millennium Bridge. So the Millennium Bridge is also called the Wobbly Bridge for us Londoners, and it definitely wobbles in Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, where the Death Eaters destroyed this bridge before flying over Tate Modern. And here at Borough Market at Tacos El Pastor, you'll find the leaky cauldron in Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, where the night boss came crawling down, stopped here on the street, and Harry stayed here in room number 11 till the start of the new term. And he stayed there in the top left room because you could see in the movies he was looking over Borough Market, but you could also still see part of the rail tracks. Take her away, huh? Yeah, take it away! So the small curved building in the background is London City Hall, which was used in Harry Potter and Half-Blood Prince as an office building. And then the skyline in the background is from Canary Wharf, where in Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, they flew from there over the Thames all the way to 12 Grimmauld Place. 12 Grimmauld Place is actually for us muggles Claremont Square in Islington, and these gates where during the movie unlocked, but don't climb over it because it's a private property area. You don't want to disturb the people over there. So 12 Grandma Place emerges from the buildings here behind me. And 
that's the house of Sirius Black, the Order of the Phoenix headquarters, and in the end, Harry also inherited this place. Unfortunately, this last location for us, Leiden Hall Market, is where it all started for Harry. He was walking here in Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone with Hagrid and says, Hagrid, can we buy all this stuff here in London? Where Hagrid says, If you know where to go. But if you turn around the corner in the Bull's Head Passage, you will find the Leaky Cauldron. But for now, it's time for me to get the butterbeer. For you, you can check out more of my London videos here on the site. And I hope you enjoyed watching. I hope to see you in the next video.